Hey everybody, it's Lori, the yarn enthusiast. Oh, and what a beautiful morning. As you can see where I'm at, we're getting some gorgeous snow. We don't get snow very often here in the Lower Mainland, the Metro Vancouver area where I live. Just scroll down now, you're seeing my window frame there. There's my deck. Just to show you how much snow we got overnight. Not a ton, but some. So beautiful. What a great day for some fiber dyeing. That's what I have in store for you today, so stick around. Well, I'm just about to dye some beautiful 100% Superwash Merino roofing. And I've braided it. Oh my gosh, it's so super soft too. So I've braided it, it's a big braid. It's about 130 grams. Oh, I think that's about four and a half ounces. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to dye it in my crock pot. I know it's all pink stained in there. And in this one, let's reach in and see what I've got cooking. Ah, uh, yes, those are my mittens I just finished making. That's 75% uh, uh, superwash merino and 25% nylon, so it's a fingering weight. That's just cooling in there. And I'm going to put this in the crock pot, and we'll get right back to you. All right, so I'm just putting my... Oh, so soft. <laughs> My uh, superwash merino in the crock pot. And in the crock pot, I've got uh, cool water with some white vinegar. I'm doing this one handed because I've got my phone in the other hand recording this. And I'm just putting the braid in. My plan. Is every time I say that I sound like a super villain. My plan. No, just kidding. Um, my plan for this is to um, put some dye on it. I haven't decided which. Of course, I'm going to put dye on it. Why else would I be doing this? I'm not quite sure what color yet, or whether it's going to be food coloring or an acid dye. I do have some uh, Ashford acid dyes. I've got. The uh, rainbow collection, which is, I think, the blue, red, and yellow. And uh, I'm just trying to get this to absorb as much water as possible. I'm just going to let that pre-soak. Hmm. So I have to decide what color I'm going to do this. <laughs> There's probably enough in here for um, about three fingerless mitt sets, I would say. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what my diabolical mind comes up with. <laughs> to be continued. I've decided what colors I'm gonna dye this gorgeous 100% superwash merino in. Right now it's soaking in um, water and vinegar in my crock pot. I know, a crock pot. And I have some black. I know it doesn't come up black quite right away, but it almost looks like a really dark green, but got some black splashing all over the place. This is what happens when you try and film <laughs> with one hand. And color with the other. It is super cool. So I'm going to douse as much as I can on there. I don't know if you can catch that, but there's kind of that tealy, bluey green leaking out. So cool. So I'm going to kind of spritz it on maybe a third. Well, I've got some this is also food coloring. This is all food coloring that I'm using. Let's see. 
Oh, it's coming up way more blue here. It's, it's actually a, a bit of a lighter teal. Sorry, guys, trying to get as much of this on film as I can without uh, not too much bother. I want that to bleed a bit. I got that. Oh, this is a teal from the, or blue from the neon um, clubhouse food coloring collection. <laughs> And yeah, it's coming out darker on the uh, video. It's actually more of a teal color like this right here. This color here is more like what it is. Yeah, a darker version of that. Um, wow, that's looking pretty nice so far. And for the third, I chose three colors. This is the neon purple. Oops, let me just mix it up a little. Coming out a little muddy. Neon purple from the same Clubhouse Neon Food Coloring Collection. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to let that bleed a little. It's going to bleed anyways. I'm just going to let that absorb a little. I've still got lots left. I started with uh, 125 milliliters of water. Uh, eight drops of food coloring for the blue and purple, and then um, 10 for the black. Yeah, that is cool. But in my experience, the black doesn't stay black with the food coloring. It always ends up going a, a really deep espresso brown and then it breaks the blue. It's so gorgeous. I'm hoping it turns out that way. You can see right there, that's the red. That's part of it. Red and blue actually come out, end up coming out through the, there, see, through the black. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's the wonderful thing about dyeing your own fibers. You never quite know what you're going to get. You know what you kind of want, what you start with. But I find that it always turns out way different and usually way better than when you first started. And this is in a braid, so it's not like it's not zigzag fibers like this in here. It's braided up and then braided again, like just turned on itself. So there's going to be a lot of uh, natural color, a lot of white fiber still in there. I'm going to let this sit for probably about 10, 15 minutes. Just let it absorb. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Um, and let's see what happens. Okay, I got my coffee, not really espresso, more like decaf Starbucks. And this is what we're looking at after about 10 minutes. <laughs> it's looking really nice. It's not quite absorbed yet. The purple has, the purple absorbs quite quickly. So what do we got? We got no color there. That is, where are we here? <laughs> That's colorless. There is some blue. Sorry about the camera work. Not my uh, expertise here. I can see a bit of blue in that. And there's the black, and you can see all kinds of dark teal in that still. You can see that kind of muddy. I love that espresso. Oh, yeah, it's turning out. So pretty. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm So I'm going to flip this puppy and see if we can do the other side. And there's still gonna be lots of white in the middle probably, so it'll uh, mesh nicely with what's there. So I'm gonna flip it and uh, uh, check out the sweet mess I'm making all over my table. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's food coloring, I'm not worried about it. All right, so I flipped it over and you can see some of that really dark, dark, dark espresso brown here. I don't think it's quite black. I think it'll be a dark brown. And then we've got some of the, um, that teal that breaks every time I use black, and I really like it. And you see the bright blue coming in from the bottom here. And there's purple mixed with that blue. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And there's my purple. And in this water, there's all kinds of that teal color that hasn't quite taken up yet. You can see that a little bit. Probably see it more over here. Yeah. 
that's okay. You know, the thing about this is it's more art than science, right? <laughs> At least it is for me because um, that's just how I roll. Okay, so let's start with the black. I think that's a black, yep. Here's the black. We'll give it a little stir here. And we're not gonna use quite as much here, I don't think, well, we'll see. I might. Uh, if you're wondering where I got these bottles from, I got them from KMS Tools. They're actually made for glue but you can use them for whatever you want. Sorry about the lighting. But again, this is how I roll. Ooh, got some splotches like that. All right, and now with the blue, we'll bomb it with the blue. Bomb it with the blue, that's it. Gonna bomb it with the blue. There we go. <laughs> It's like when you're a kid and you got new crayons and you're coloring and you're like three or four, so lines are meaningless. At least they were for me. And you're just coloring because you love the color and it's so fun. And the crayons are new and they're not broken yet by your hands, so you get to play with them and it's fun. And you make a big mess. That's the best part. Except now, I don't have anybody to clean it up but myself. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, check this out right here. I don't know if you can see that. Check that out. It's, you probably can't see it. It probably just looks like a dark stain. But actually, it's a darker purple on that blue. Oh, I love that. I want more of that. Let's fix this, though. I think this is cool, this purple here. It's supposed to be a neon purple, and I'm sure is it dries it will be more neon or more light bright than it is certainly in the water but i love how it's i love how it's combining with this blue i just want to put that a little bit more on that edge there oh yes good thing i'm not a cameraman for a living i'd be broken hungry okay here we go that's oh, looking good i'm liking it i like it a lot I think I want more blue though. And unfortunately I have a little bit more, so I'm just gonna dump it out. Oh, there goes the last of it. Woohoo! And just for fun, I'm gonna put a little purple in here, see if anything changes. Oh yeah, kinda. I kinda like that a little bit. A little bit of purple in there. A little bit of purple in there. I don't wanna, oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's looking good. It looks so funny. It does. It looks funny, but it's going to be really cool, I think, when it's done. And again, I'm just going to let it sit a little bit and maybe clean up my, my mess here. Oh, it's such a lovely mess, too. And have some of my Starbucks coffee. Oh, scrumptious. Can't wait till I can spin that dying to see what it looks like. And remember, there's gonna be white in the middle, I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, I've let this sit for hmm, 15, 20 minutes now. There's still quite a bit of um, bit of the black, quite a bit. You can see that there's quite a lot. Most of the red's taken up though. So what I'm gonna do is just pour some more water in this. to do this when I <laughs> only got one hand. There we go. Ooh, it's looking pretty nice. Really like, oh wow, when you lift it out of the water it looks kind of cool. All right, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna, there should be enough water in there now. Don't want it to burn. Let's put my hand in there. I probably should put a little bit more water in there. So what I'm gonna do is put a bit more water in there, put the lid on and set it on low, and then I'll put it on high and let it go for about a half an hour or so until, or until all of the food coloring is absorbed, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, what I did is I flipped over the fiber again, and I poured some more water in it. Take 
bit off here. And you can see what that looks like. That's on the other side. So I think we're gonna have quite a bit of white, but also quite a bit of dark. So, oh boy, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Okay, we're gonna let that cook until all of the liquid or all of the uh, coloring is absorbed, all the dye is absorbed, and we'll go from there. All right, boys and girls, time for the reveal. <laughs> well, it's still quite wet, but I love the way that black broke. That blue is so electric. Mm. And like I say, there's lots of white left too. Which will just, sorry about the shadow of my camera there. Just the way the lighting falls. And that's the end of it. I'll pull out and show you the whole braid. It's in a horseshoe right now, but it looks, it looks better in person than it does on the camera, but it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna let that dry for a couple of days and then we're gonna spin it. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> See you soon. Well, here we go. This is a couple of days after I started dyeing this. So I think it took two days to dry. And this is the 100% Superwash Merino uh, roving. And uh, I dyed this with the black food coloring. And also with uh, neon purple and neon blue food coloring. Oh, I just love the results. I'm going to come in here. It's got the, the black broke. It's got that wonderful red. Sorry about the shadows. Can't help that this morning. I'm just going to zoom into that beautiful rusty red. Love that. And some of those brilliant blues and the neon purples that came out so cool. It looks kind of give a feel. Again, sorry about the shadows. Look at that. How beautiful. Let me come out here and see again those beautiful almost espresso colors coming out a little lighter than it actually is. It's a little bit darker than that. Again, I can't avoid the shadows. I apologize. And then this really kind of almost cotton candy kind of feel to it. A bit of green. And that, oh, look at that blue. So beautiful. So beautiful. And that is the magnificent thing for, I can't talk, that magnificent fiber. I am so looking forward to spinning that. So I'll bundle it up in a braid and uh, show you again. Ta-da! <laughs> There's the braid, finished in all its glory. Oh, I just love those colors. Oh, just so beautiful. And there it is. If I turn it over, see if I can turn it over with one hand here. You can see the other side actually has more of that brown, that beautiful reddish brown, and a lot more white. Oh, I'm looking forward to spinning that up. So there you go, all done. Well, here it is in all its fluffy gorgeousness. Oh, look at that purple. I loved how that turned out. It's kind of blowing out a little bit here, but it's quite a vibrant neon purple. And then there's those beautiful blues. Some of those blues are from the, blo the broken black and some of the blues are from the one the blue that I added that um, there, like this one, like that blue here that I added, that blue food coloring. And of course the purple that I added, that some of it mixed with the blue, looks so wonderful. And this color here, that's again from the black that broke. And you can even see some green in there. It's really cool. And that beautiful espresso brown, 
see some more of that here. You can see some, it's, it's almost a black, but it's more like a brown. It's so squishy soft. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait to spin you. I just want to thank you so much for joining me today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's no longer snowing here, it's now rain. Uh, of course, that's the way we are in Vancouver. It's a little bit of snow followed by a little bit of rain. Anyways, again, I'm looking forward to spinning this, and when I do, I will show you the masterpiece. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will show you the results. Please, if you uh, would so like to, please subscribe below. And if you'd like to leave a comment about this beautiful fluffiness or any other yarny related goodness, please do. And I know that you will be kind because that's, that's who we are as yarny peeps. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time.